A lot of stuff to say and five minutes goes by really fast. So basically the reason I'm here and Park Hub exists is because parking sucks. Nobody likes it. It's a pain in the butt. It's always hard finding a place to park. You have to wait in lines and you have to go to concerts or games. But here's the deal. It's not just a pain in the butt for you guys. It's the same thing for the parking operators and the guys that own their business as well. So here at Park Hub, we try and make it easier for everybody. And let me tell you why. So I talked about the owner layer. They own it. They have the inventory. They set the pricing. And then there's you guys down here that want to buy it. So obviously there has to be somebody in between. There has to be a communication layer, a transaction layer, and that's where we fit in. Over here on the left side, or I guess right side, you're going to see the operator and the problems that they have. And then over on the left side, you're going to see the reasons why we're awesome. So parking owners primarily deal in cash, okay? But it's an unwritten statistic that 30% of their revenue goes right out and into their attendance pockets. Theft is rampant, okay? We solve that problem because we track all their cash transactions. Another thing, frustrated customers. You sit in line all the time. You don't have any other methods of payment. Well, we are awesome because we solve that problem for you as well. No inventory, visible or visibility or static pricing. That means that these parking operators, these owners, they don't ever actually see their business. They can't because there's no real-time reporting. There's no dynamic pricing. That's also where we step in because we're awesome. So as consumers, you have problems as well, okay? You can't pre-purchase your parking before you get there. Well, now you can. With our system, you can pre-purchase through Ticketmaster, ParkWiz, or any other reservation system that's out there. You also have the ability to use any payment method. With our handheld devices in these attendants' hands, they can accept credit card, they can scan barcodes from your pre-purchased parking, and starting in the first quarter of next year, we'll be able to accept NFC payments, so that's Apple Pay and Google Wallet and everything else. So that's really cool. Another reason why we're awesome is that every aspect of our technology, whether it's hardware or software, it's modular. Okay, You can pick and choose what you want or use it all together in a holistic ecosystem. So this is what we have. We have an amazing software suite. We have built an amazing reservation system and engine that we can white label for any stadium or arena or event center out there that wants to sell their own parking without having to pay 15 to 25% to Ticketmaster. We also have a operations management software suite so that these parking operators can actually run their business properly. Proper reporting, proper accounting, and like I said, all their inventory and all of their revenue is in real-time reporting from these handheld devices that every single one of these tenants have in their hands, run credit cards, scan, uh, swipe credit cards, and accept cash and everything else, it runs on an LTE backbone or Wi-Fi as a backup. So every transaction, every bit of revenue, every piece of inventory gets beamed back to this software program in real time. Now, if you thought that was exciting, just wait. Here's the reason why we're even more awesome, is this little puck over here on the side. We're developing our own in-house smart sensor technology, and this is really cliche to say it, and I hate it when people do, but I'm going to use it anyways. It's going to revolutionize the parking industry. Okay, We're going to have magnetometer, accelerometer, low tooth blue, or Bluetooth low energy radio, an 802.15 Wi-Fi radio as well, and a Linux chipset all crammed in this little sensor that gets put inside the concrete so that it makes parking easier for everybody. I don't want to ruin all the surprises. We're still keeping our cards kind of close to our chest, but it's going to change the way you get from point A to point B and everything that happens in between. So here's our traction. We launched our hardware pr uh, platform in January of this year, and by October, we were already coast to coast. We represent and work with some of the largest, thank you, some of the largest franchises and best known sports teams in the world. Okay, from West Coast, San Francisco 49ers at Levi Stadium, one of the most technologically advanced stadiums, we are their parking platform. AT&T Stadium with Dallas Cowboys, America's team, we're their parking platform. Amelie Arena in Tampa Bay, home of the Lightning, we are their parking platform. And we're continuing to expand and grow and grow, which is really part of uh, why this is really exciting. Also, more numbers as to why we're awesome. You can see them up here. 25% increase in revenue from last year's with uh, uh, revenue with the only change being using our system. There is a seven times decrease yeah, in the amount of time it takes people to actually get into the venue and a higher 10% in revenue that they can generate. This line right here is us, and that's why we're awesome, more awesome than all of our competition over there. They don't offer even half of the feature sets that we do. We're not the cheapest in town, but we're the best. Oh, skip over these. I'm running out of time. He's flashing me the sign. Here's the deal. This is halfway through this year, and we have already exceeded all of our projections for revenue, for transactions, for clients. 
This is also our growth curve as well. We have exceeded our growth, our revenue, and our clients. Am I time yet? Okay, this is why we're awesome. Okay, we're a certified partner with Ticketmaster, one of two in the nation, and that should be a big deal enough. All right, any questions? Yes. Yes, actually the first half of that was actual revenue and then the last half of that, everything that was in yellow was projected revenue. So we're actually, like I said, we're ahead of all of our projections for transactions, revenue, clients, and everything else. Uh, our office is actually right over on uh, Exposition Avenue next to the underpass bar. Uh, so we're right in Expo Park. Yes. Actually, we have been outsourcing it to an amazing boutique firm here in Dallas. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Dilexa. Uh, they've been developing all of our software and all of our hardware. We have, however, started hiring our own in-house team. Uh, we got Dave Livingston right here. He just got hired on as our CTO the other month, and he's been fleshing out. Uh, I think we just hired, what, our third, third developer in-house. So we're currently hiring. Uh, we are growing fast, and it's a very exciting environment to be in. Come on, ask me why else I'm awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Good question. Okay, the question was, walk me through the customer experience right now if I were going to, uh, like I took uh, my girlfriend to go see Taylor Swift. Okay, I, I love T-Swift. Uh, Tay Tay for life. So the experience for that, for something that's a non-franchise, a, a non-Cowboys game, is that uh, you would still pull up to the parking lot in the way that you normally would. Now, however, you have the option through either ParkWiz or Ticketmaster, whenever you buy your tickets from them, to also purchase your parking as well. Okay, so that can already be paid for and taken care of. So whenever you pull up to the lane, you can either have the uh, barcode on the Ticketmaster or ParkWiz app on your phone, they can scan it. Our database is linked up with theirs through uh, various API keys, so we're able to validate their parking in near to real time, and probably Dave might kick me for this later, but by this, or the Q1 of next year, it will be in real time, so you could actually buy your parking as you're in line to ensure that you have a spot in that lot. Now, uh, I'm cautious to talk about what we're able to do in Q2 of next year, but like I said, it's, it's going to change the way that you actually park. It will be app integrated, it will be truly frictionless, and uh, it will make the ingress time, it'll make the time you wait in line significantly less. We are a tech, and that's a very valid question. That's a very valid question. Um, there are different ways that we're going to structure the ability to pre-purchase parking in the future, and part of that is going to be actually picking out the specific spot where you park. So that way, if you're more concerned with being up front, you can pay for that spot to be up front. If you're more concerned with how quickly you can get out at the end of the, at the game or the concert, then you're gonna park way out in the back, right next to the exit. Fortunately or unfortunately, however you look at it, we are a technology company. We are not an operations or management company, and so we can't really change the way that these uh, operations do business. We can only give them the tools that, to run a more efficient operation. Yes. Correct. Uh, also, you look the same way that uh, Uber has done dynamic or surge pricing. You know, coming up to an event, if you buy your parking ahead of time, you would pay a lower fee. Or if parking isn't selling as well as they expected to, they can lower prices leading up to tip off or whatever else. So it could work out in favor of uh, either the consumer or the business operator themselves. But we're working on those algorithms. Uh, it's nothing that we have in place now, but it's stuff that we're going to have uh, put in place next year. Yes. Yes, actually what we have just finished beta testing at American Airlines Center is we originally called it our HR module, an integration system, but basically we've turned it into a permitting system. So with uh, our smart sensor technology that we're also beta testing right now, coupled with the uh, barcode scanners and uh, everything else that we have in our hardware suite, we will actually be able to expand into access control in parking lots the same way 
that you have access control inside of buildings. Um, now I know that that's, you're able to do that now with RFID, but that is not truly a frictionless experience. Uh, we're moving to basically take that whole process and move it into the 21st century where it belongs. And that's also off-street parking, daily, hourly, municipal parking as well. Uh, we've been up to the city of St. Louis, city of Omaha, city of Nebraska, and hopefully talks with Fort Worth about doing their municipal parking. Thank you so much. My name is Jared Frascus.